Hi everyone, welcome back to the Room Sketcher channel. I'm Therese and today I'm super excited to show you how to create a site plan. Whether you're planning a new garden layout, designing a backyard, or just love playing around with design, this tutorial is for you. But before we get started, make sure to give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get started. First things first, I have an image here that I want to replicate and it's always good to have a rough idea of what you want to create before diving into the app. This image includes the basic layout of the site and have some key features marked out. Okay, let's open up the RuneSketcher app and get started. Now that we're in the app, I'll draw the walls of the house and add some basic furniture. So I'll speed this part up and catch up with you guys once I'm done. Great! Okay, so I'm zooming out and even though I have the exact measurements of the house, I will just start by drawing a rough sketch around it and remember to connect it. To get the exact measurements of the walls, I'll start by adding a helper line from the house to the end of the side plan. Then I click on the blue circle at the end, making sure I've marked this line and not this, and enter the measurements here in inches. So this one is 145 inches. Then I'll repeat this process for the other three sides of the house. So this side is 179 inches. This one is 256 and the last one is 102. You can also click on the circles at the end of the site plan to change the length, but I find the method I just showed you to be the best way to ensure that the house is correctly positioned. Finally, I'll delete the helper lines and double check the length and width of the site plan. I'll start by drawing the flower beds on the left side of the house. So I'll section it up from where the kitchen begins and out and the beds are two feet, three inches wide here and go out for 10 feet and then down to the bay window. And then I'll repeat the same process for the other side of the window. Next, I'll draw the lines for the pool area on the lower part of the house. So I'll section it off here and here. In this area, we also have some soil patches in the bottom corners. So I'll start by sectioning it off two feet four inches and then go out for two feet eight and then down and I'll repeat this one for the other corner as well so it's section off two feet four and then out for two feet eight and down perfect now the last part of the side plan is the deck on the right side of the house so I'll start by section off from where the stairs will go so that is six feet eleven inches wide and then I go straight up to the house and section off this part. So now I've created the section, but we need the curved line as well. So to create this one, I'll click on this divider line, then go to the side, right side here and toggle on curve divider. And here I can adjust the angle to whichever way I like. So I want this one to be 56. Great, now the next step is to change the floor height. So I want the house to be elevated and the garden to be lower. To start, I click within the zone, I want to change the floor height. So I'll start within this soil patch here, toggle on advanced properties and change the floor height to minus 20.5 inches. So I'll show that one more time. I click within the zone, toggle on advanced properties and change the floor height. I find it easier to leave the house at height zero and adjust everything accordingly. I'll repeat the step for the pool area and the garden on the right side of the house. Next, to add stairs, I'll switch from walls mode to windows etc mode or press 2 on the keyboard, go to stairs, scroll down and choose the one I want. I'll place it and make sure that the arrow points upward since this is the top of the floor. I'll also change the color of the stairs to white, skipping baluster and handrail since I'm not showing them on the stairs. Wonderful! I'll copy these stairs by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V or by clicking this button and then this one. Then I'll place it outside the side door and extend it to cover both of the windows. And I don't have to change the materials again since I copied it. And I'll also place the stairs up to the deck and to the garage door. So I'll speed up this process. Perfect! Now before I add the pool, I want to change the flooring to match the landscaping. I'll start the live 3D and bring it out to the side to have an overview of the site plan. Then I'll press inside the drawn area, click on floor material and change it to grass. 
Next, I'll open the advanced properties and toggle off show ceiling, which is on by default. I'll do the same for all the section of areas to ensure that the landscaping has the correct flooring. For the flower beds and the squares at the bottom corners of the pool area, I'll change the flooring to soil. The front porch will have stone slabs. The decking will have grey tiles. And the pool area will have blue tiles. To get the black railing on the front porch, I'll go back to waltz mode or press 1 on the keyboard. And before I change the railing, I want to section off where the gate will be. So I'll go to the divider lines or press D on the keyboard. Then I want the gate to start one foot from the garage. And then I'll click here, drag it out, click, and then I'll press S on the keyboard to stop the line. I'll do the same for the other side of the gate, which will be three feet. And click, click, and then press S. Now that I've created the space for the gate, I'll change the railing on either side. So I'll press this divider line, then go to railing and change it to the one I want. And I'll repeat this step for the other side as well. For the trees in the garden, I'll follow a similar process. So I'll click on this divider line, go to railing and choose the one with trees. And I do the same thing for the rest of the house. And I find this process to be much easier than to place individual trees around the side plan. There are two different ways you can create a pool. If you want a round or a square one, you can go to furniture mode, press Ctrl F on your keyboard, write in pool, select one, and then size it to your liking. This is how it will look in a 2D floor plan, 3D, and also a 3D photo. But if your pool have other shapes, you can create one using divider lines. I'll start by drawing a straight line down the side of the pool, cutting off the corners where the curved line is supposed to go. And then I'll create a new line outside this one, which will be the pool coping. Once I've created the shape of the pool, I'll click on the straight lines in the corners, toggle on curve divider and adjust it. So I'll take note of this angle and copy it for the other corners as well. Finally, I press in the center of the pool and change the flooring to water. And under advanced properties, I'll toggle off show ceiling, which will be on by default. Next, I'll change the material of the pool coping to marble and change the height to minus 12.5 inches. And this is how the pool will look like in 2D, 3D and 3D photo. Great, now let's add some landscaping elements. So I'll start by going to furniture mode and then press Ctrl F to open up the search box and search for plant. And as you can see, we have a variety of options to choose from. So I'll click and drag this plant and place it in the flower beds. And now I'll copy and paste it by pressing Ctrl C and then Ctrl V and place it around the flower beds as well. I also want to add some flowery trees. So I'll search for tree and then I'll choose this one, click and drag it, place it on this side of the stairs, and then I'll press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, place it here and here as well. So I'll add in some more landscaping around the site plan and come back once it's complete. With the basic layout done, it's time to add some bigger furniture, and this could include outdoor dining sets, lounge chairs, or even a gazebo. So for this project, I want some lounge chairs, so I'll search for that, click and drag it to the left side of the pool, and then I can also change the materials. Perfect! Now the site plan is done, and I just need to generate a 2D and 3D floor plan. If you have a pro or team subscription, you can actually preview this by pressing Ctrl 2 on the keyboard to see the 2D floor plan, or Ctrl 3 on the keyboard to see the 3D floor plan. And mine looks great, so I'll hit generate on both. And to find the floor plans, you can go to the orange menu under project and then you can see both the 2D and 3D floor plans. And here are mine. And there you have it, a complete site plan created in Room Sketcher. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it inspires you to create your own designs. And if you like this tutorial, check out some other videos we have. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more designing tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy designing.